two other suspects. Well, good evening, Rob. Good evening, Erica. Police are telling us that one person was shot, and only moments ago, CPD confirming that that man passed away at a nearby hospital. Not long after the gunfire, there was a massive police presence here. You can see the mobile command center in the area right behind us. This remains an active police investigation, and this is the reaction on police radio. Yeah, which confirmed we have one person shot. We got a gun recovered, and we have one uh, another male. Around 7.20 this evening, police say three men approached a man in a car in the area of 29th and Shields. Investigators say at least one had a gun and pointed the firearm at the man in the vehicle as part of an attempted carjacking. Turns out he was a retired Chicago police officer who had a gun. Police say he fired shots, hitting one of the accused robbers in the upper body. Adding a gun was later recovered. Officers say two others were caught, one at the scene, another a short distance away. This is an area where many first responders live, and neighbors say if the carjackers were looking for an easy target, they picked the wrong place and the wrong person. I think that just goes to show, you know, exactly how secure this environment is. Um, you know, it's obviously bad luck uh, on their part. Now, once again, police confirming that this has indeed been ruled a fatal shooting. Police are telling us they don't believe that the former Chicago police officer who did fire his weapon was hurt or injured at this time. We are live in Bridgeport. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, Jeremy, thank you.